Hey there, Leo. What's up? What's good? What's happening? Welcome in. Welcome back. I hope you guys are all doing well. We're going to do a general reading. If it fits your situation, you can take it. If not, go ahead and try a different message. We're using the Light Sears Tarot. Let's see what we get. For Leo, please and thank you. What are the messages for Leo? For Leo, please and thank you. Four of Pentacles in reverse. That's letting go of something. It could be a loss. Maybe you've been saving up your money and you finally have enough to spend it. Maybe you guys were holding on to a secret or an item and you're finally letting it go. This could definitely be spring cleaning. I can't tell you how many people have told me that they are cleaning house and literally every term that you can, every way you can break that term down. Cleaning house on social media, their actual physical house, going through their clothes, jewelry, all kinds of different cleaning house. Page of Swords. Ooh, could be some documents, signing some documents. Or starting the paperwork. Oh yeah, Page of Wands too. This is good news though. This is good news. You've been asking for this. It looks like you're getting the approval. You're getting a yes. If you have something and you want to give it away, but you feel like you're supposed to keep it, I mean, sometimes you're supposed to keep things until it's time to give it away, though. Um, that's often how crystals will work. I've noticed that. I'll go pick up crystals that I don't even really feel super connected to, but I feel like they want me to take them home, if that even makes sense. And then there's somebody that comes over and they fall in love with the crystal. And I'm like, honey, just have it. Just take it. Yeah, it's yours. So, like, that could be something like this. This is interesting, though. It's definitely an approval. It's good news. I think you've been waiting for it. Good news. You have the money. You can get that car or start the paperwork for your loan or whatever. Let's see. What else do we have here? But yeah, Ace of Pentacles. There it is. These are the keys. Keys to a house, keys to a space. Especially if you're trying to expand your business. That's documents. The loan. I don't know what you're waiting on, but it's definitely a yes. There's movement. I'm actually getting plane tickets, getting on an airplane. Maybe you packed your bags. Make sure you leave room if you're going to do shopping where you go. That way you can bring your shopping home with you. Discreetly. <laughs> Maybe bring an extra bag for that. Yeah, I'm even getting like two sisters here possibly or two friends. All right? Maybe somebody's coming to visit. Or you're planning on going to visit them. Queen of Cups and the Fool. Yep. See, and you trust that this is the right thing to do. I don't think you have a lot of fear in this situation. Neither do they. Both of you feel like taking this leap of faith, giving this a whirl. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for it. That's what I keep hearing, Leo. I'm going to go for it. Let's do this. I also feel like whatever this is, it's coming in sooner than you might think. Oh, we always like hearing that. <laughs> Especially after all the waiting we have to do, right? What else do we have for Leo? Please and thank you. Thank you. Judgment.
Yeah. I mean, it's your call. It's always your call, but... For some of you guys, there could be somebody that is maybe needing some financial help and you're going to help them out because you trust them. You know they're, um, they're going to pay their bills with that money or you maybe you knew they were struggling a little bit. This could also be somebody just wants to hang out. They miss you, you know. Could be some homesick, right? I, I was picking up sisters there for a second. Homesick. What else do we have here? Please and thank you. Definitely calling back and forth at checkpoints. Hey, I made it to the airport. Somebody might even have to rent a vehicle you're not getting on a plane this could even be train tickets I mean, it could be anything guys i'm definitely getting airplane though nine of swords in reverse oh somebody might be overcoming a fear maybe you have a fear of heights getting on the plane oh honey i can't even imagine i really can't i mean i've never been on a plane so i cannot tell you but what i can tell you is i am not in a hurry to get on one so if you have a fear of this Listen, I'm with you. <laughs> I'm with you. There was somebody in my life that used to say, if God wanted me to fly, he'd have gave me wings, and he didn't. So we're just going to drive everywhere we got to go. <laughs> oh, man. Two of Cups reversed. Why reversed? Why is it Two of Cups reversed here? Oh, because if you're, <laughs> your fear is the only thing that could stop this from happening. But I don't think it's going to. I think you guys are going to make the call. You're going to go for it. You're like... I got this. I'm going to go for it. Okay, now I, I see. You're trying to pump yourself up. <laughs> yes, giving yourself the courage, giving yourself the strength. Or maybe you're, you're you know, helping your friend here, your family member, whoever this is. You're like, it's okay. You got this. You can do this. The tower. Oh, no. I feel like that's takeoff. Tower. Takeoff. Yeah, somebody is really, really nervous about this, but they don't want to miss out on whatever the get-together is. They don't want to miss out on this visit, getting to see you. Yep, Nine of Cups, because they know ultimately that's what they want. Nine of Cups is also that, essentially, it's like, I would give anything if, right? And this person would have to overcome a, a fear to have this. Yeah, and of course, you got to have that little fucker in the way, like, don't do it, don't do it. Four of swords. Oh, you know what, honey? <laughs> Are you just going to nap for the whole flight? Yeah, you're like, I'm just going to sneak on through and I'm going to go ahead and just take a fucking nap, grab a pillow, maybe some headphones. I'm going to sleep for the flight and then it'll be over. I'll be there. They'll wake me up. I just grab my stuff and get off. It'll be really simple that way. Some of you guys are definitely um, just going to try to plan where you can sleep through the whole flight, not even really have to deal with it. Others of you are going to feel really, really happy and proud of yourself for um, for overcoming this fear. It's a big one, though. It's a big one. And the fear might not be getting on a plane, right? Whatever it is that you're dealing with here that's a fear, you know, let it resonate how it resonates. I just give examples. But, yeah, so we've got Capricorn, Scorpio, Libra, Aries, cancer on the board. I hope this message helps who it needs to, how it needs to. I love you guys and I'll see you soon. Until next time, like, share, subscribe and stay beautiful.